September is Pain Awareness Month, and with that in mind, we're launching a brand new series to help you erase your pain. More than 100 million Americans suffer from pain on a regular basis at a cost of $635 billion every year. Now there's a new technique that may help sufferers say goodbye to their pain for good. Pain is a debilitating disorder that over one-third of Americans battle with every single day. I've had this pain um, for 53 years. It turned to chronic my migraines about 10 years ago. The medical community defines pain as an unpleasant sensory and emotional experience associated with actual or potential tissue damage, an experience that is often subjective, making it so difficult to diagnose and treat. We spend about a half a trillion dollars a year in the management of pain. Over the weekend, Dr. Sean Mackey, chief of pain medicine at Stanford University, led the Back Pain Education Day to a sold out crowd. So the focus is on more mind-body approaches to pain. Things such as mindfulness meditation, physical therapy approaches, and a better understanding of what their pain is and what it represents and how they can learn to take control of it. On the forefront of chronic pain treatments, showing us a new technique being used, transcranial magnetic stimulation. Our particular interest is in stimulating or inhibiting brain regions that are involved with pain. And we've been seeing some real dramatic reductions in chronic pain and improvements in functioning. It works by placing a set of coils on the head, sending magnetic pulses to the brain. The mechanism by which TMS works is still unknown, but it's believed that the repeated stimulation of the brain may help decrease the body's response to pain signals in the nervous system. As I stimulate this, we can see twitching of his hand. It's his brain entirely that's doing that. Cutting edge technology with promises for a pain-free future. And joining us now, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Okay, you're a patient, you go to see your doctor, you tell, you, you tell them that you are in pain. How do they go about determining what exactly is going on with you? So I'm gonna take you inside of the doctor brain and tell you how mm -hmm. doctors think about pain, Robin. First of all, we think in terms of categories and we think in terms of anatomy. So if you look here, musculoskeletal system, mm -hmm. very, very common source of pain. This could be a, a sports injury or it could be a condition like fibromyalgia. Then if you look here to the internal or solid organs, we call that visceral pain. And that could be coming from kidneys, liver, bladder, a condition called interstitial cystitis. It can also come from the heart, heart attack. That's an example of visceral pain. And then neuropathic pain. So this is pain caused by nerves. This could be phantom limb pain that we've heard about. It could be the pain following shingles. And because the brain is part of the central nervous system, right. it can also be psychological pain or emotional pain. It's important not to forget about that, too. Because pain, as you're just saying, could be different for everyone. And we hear about chronic pain versus acute pain. Right. And wh why the difference? So different category here. And we're not sure exactly what leads to chronic pain. But one big theory, and it came out of the 80s by a Dr. Lethem, is that everyone gets exposed to an injury or pain. The people who deal with it in a positive way, by no choice of their own, by the way, they approach it, they confront it, mm -hmm. and they recover. The people who develop chronic pain with the same painful stimulus, they develop this catastrophic worry, they avoid this fear, they avoid the confrontation, and they get caught in a loop of dysfunction, depression, and actually more pain. So this is one theory. Is that why we saw that new treatment about dealing with the brain and changing? And there's several different ones, and how do you determine what's right for you? That's the key. Yeah. It's about whether you're dealing top down or bottom up, and we're be talking about treatments all week it's hard to cover it all in a two-minute mm -hmm. segment obviously but when you talk about medical management of pain what's something we can write a prescription for basically we divide that up into narcotics or opioids which have a role but they also have problems and non opioids so this would be things like non steroidal anti-inflammatory certain antidepressants certain drugs to treat neuropathic pain actually work well and then the complementary therapies so important so this could be massage physical therapy, mm. acupuncture by a licensed therapist, chiropractor, they all have their roles in conjunction with the other stuff. We're going to be talking okay, about it Okay, because you're going to be back because yes. this is just the tip of the iceberg. That's right. And it's got to help a lot of people out We there. hope so. All right.